So for the first row on top, I'm going to go through this very quickly because the top is not the entertaining row. This is kind of my junk drawer. I have everything that I need on hand, like uh, clippers, bigger clippers, and here's my, this is mainly for top water. So you can see I have frog, 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 Blue Squad blooper, favorite top water popper. Um, I have just some recent baits I've used, like this Texas rig worm and this tube. I also have a few broken lures that I need to melt down for uh, new baits. But, you know, junk drawer, not that entertaining. So let's get on to the interesting stuff. Now on to the second row. Uh, let's go through it from right to left. In this compartment, I have a bunch of bass hooks, which, you know, everybody has. Some are actually bait holder hooks, but fairly straightforward, just your regular hooks. And then I have some rooster tails and some little spinners up in here. Straightforward, almost everyone has a few rooster tails. They're pretty good when the bass bite is hard, but they're just okay. I also have a couple walleye jigs, which, and purple and yellow, which is really good for walleye. I really like them, especially in the spring. Now, if we can move on to some of my crankbaits, we can see I have a Guggen Squad Banger, which is a flat bill crankbait, square bill, I should say. And it has a two to five depth, great black nickel treble hooks. Again, Guggen Squad logo on the eye, so cool. Now, I only have two jigs right now because I have the rest in my kayak, which is where I keep most of my lures that are like jigs and I just kind of need whenever. But here's one flipping jig, Gookin Squad flipping jig, I believe. Yep. And black and blue color, as you can see, great weed guard. I really like this one. And for my final jig that's in my tackle box, I have a finesse jig, almost like a bluegill color with that purple, and I have a Yum Christy Craw as a trailer. I was catching a bunch of fish off of this, so if we pull off this uh, jig trailer, while well, it's really in there, there we go. I'm just using this as a jig trailer. It's a Yum Christy Craw, has these little flaps because water disturbance makes the fish bite like crazy. I bang this into weeds and logs and stuff, and bass just love to get the reaction strike with this. So here we have a crankbait, that's my biggest crankbait, and a jerkbait that we will talk about. But let's start off with the crankbait. And this crankbait is called the Guggen Squad Recon. Has a nice top, nice design. I think it's a, I can't remember the color maybe something shad dives 8 to 12 feet and this bait uh i've had i actually haven't really fished with it so i guess i can't say what luck i've had with it but looks like a really nice bait really high quality and uh again the black nickel travel hooks and the guggen squad logo in the eye i love this bait so i also have some slider soft plastics here which are just kind of little like swim bait, saucy grub kind of things. They just, you can Ned rig them, I think, drop shot probably. Just really good baits that swim up and down in the water. That's the sliders. And then I also have a similar thing right here, which is just like some minnow designs of that. So every fisherman has some weights in a compartment. This is my weight compartment. I have some split shots and uh, bullet weights. I like hefty bullet weights because a lot of the lakes near me are uh, pretty dang deep. So here is my final crankbait. It's actually a lipless crankbait. And I love the design on this. This is probably my favorite design. It has green up and down the sides and silver. This is called the Yugen Squad Clutch. Love it, amazing. It's all so thin, it's practically a blade bait. Oh, I hooked myself. But yeah, this is probably my favorite one to use. It just kind of sinks when you reel it in. And that's it for the second compartment. Now let's move on to the final row before the base. 
So this one, this last row, the third one has a lot of grubs and jerk baits with my hooks and spinners. So let's dive into it deep. I have several different like power bait, power bait grubs on here. Um, I have like maybe 50 of them. I don't really like them, but they come in huge packs and I don't think the scent matters that much with these baits, so I don't keep them in the bags. So I have a dark sleeper here, which is just your straightforward lifelike swim bait. I love the action on this and the coloring. Pretty good, all times of year. Not great, but solid. I also have a jerk bait, which is, I forget the brand, maybe Rapala makes this, but straightforward top water jerk bait. Catches all. I've actually caught a lot of gar with this recently. If you check out my uh, 75 subscriber special, you'll see that that was doing the job for gar. Now, if we get into our spinners and buzz baits, we can see I have a actually pretty new, uh, both Colorado Leafs white and chartreuse spinner bait that I actually really like a lot. This is one of my favorite colors to use for spinners, and I actually prefer Colorado Leafs over Willow Leafs. Don't know why, I just think I have better luck with it. Now, here is the Guggen Squad Hummer, which is their buzz bait. Uh, black color, I think it might have, it might be black and blue flake. Looks like it has a bit of blue. It's a huge buzz bait, but the bigger the profile, the bigger fish you're gonna catch. Not exactly for finicky fish, more for the aggressive fish, but really solid bait. Like this one a lot. Maybe you even put a trailer behind it, like a bandito bug or something. Just kind of depends. I just realized something that we did not talk about is actually the Guggen Squad Junior Scout, which is a jerk bait. Cool top, solid color. The bottom is your straightforward jerk bait. Dives three to five feet. I love the color on this. It even rattles. So something that we didn't even talk about with the clutch, the Guggen Squad lipless crankbait, is it actually rattles a lot. Listen to that. Anyway, on to the, the rest of my spinners. I have a Willow Leaf, uh, Colorado Leaf Mix White and Chartreuse. This one's pretty old. I think I got it like two, three years ago, which is why this is pretty dirty and banged up. I should probably get a new one. But that's this, similar to my other White and Chartreuse one. I have a black and single Colorado orange leaf, which I guess could be good for very murky water maybe. Maybe for those more aggressive fish. I've never really used this bait too much, not had any luck with it, but that's the spinner bait. And then for the final buzz bait I have, it's a very small profile buzz bait. Kind of just Straightforward buzz bait, very small profile for finicky fish. So if we put all my spinners back, I also have several hooks. Here are my weighted hooks, which I prefer for like tubes and other things when you don't need to Texas rig it. I like weighted hooks, they're convenient. I also have these smaller weighted hooks, which are good for like worms, live worms, and other small grubs. And then I have all my worm hooks. We don't need to go into that, just worm hooks. Now let's get into the base. So our final compartment on my tackle box, we have the base and I have a lot of soft plastics in here, mainly bagged for the scent, but let's get into it. We have the Guggen Bandito Bug, we all know about it. It's the best Guggen bait out there, in my opinion. And I just absolutely love this bait. Straightforward creature bait. This is natural color, silver back, green pumpkin. That's the bandito bug. We also have a craw bait, which is the Kraken Craw in uh, Blue Baby, I believe. Yeah, so it has blue on the back. And the Kraken Craw, look it up for yourself. It's a great bait, highly recommend it. We also have the Trench Hog, which is another creature slash craw style bait. Could even be represented as like a worm, maybe, just depending on the shape or the atmosphere. This is good for cover and other areas of your lake, but green pumpkin, great bait. 
And then for my last Dugan bait, we have the 10 inch Mondo worm. Best summer bait out there. Huge worms, love them to death. This one's black and blue flake and just a great product for summertime. So I also have the Yum Christy Craw, which is another craw style bait, which we saw up here as a jig trailer. So here's a view of one out of the package. It's pretty normal. I think it's watermelon red flake, but it has these little things on the end to create more water disturbance, get those bigger fish to bite. I also have a little unopened drop shot thing that I got in Mystery Tackle Box. Never used it. Don't know if I will. Just have to learn more about drop shots. I have a little power bait grub. No luck with this. I really don't like power bait for like their little grubs. I just never have luck with these. We're almost done. We have the Yum Rim and Tail Worm, seven and a half inch. And this color is plum. And I love plum color. Uh, it's great color. I also have another like purple color melon blood that's called Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series. Just tubes. Great luck with this. Great scent. The salting, if that's a word, the salting is amazing on this bait. And uh, probably my favorite soft plastic that I've had. Well, actually, my best luck with soft plastic. This is my number one soft plastic. I also have these, which actually also could be my number one because these freaking catch everything. I've caught mini bass on this, too many bluegill to count, and like five crappie. So this stuff really does work. I have some Carl's Amazing Baits, which is another cross, whoa, which is another cross style bait. And uh, I have a lot of creature baits because they really do work, especially in the blue color. Love it. Murky water, clear water, pretty much works in it all. Caught a few bass with this. I just love it. So if we move on to my last soft plastic, we have the 7.5 inch culprit worm. It's basically the same as the Yum Ribbon Tail, but it's uh, actually a June bug color. So yeah, caught many bass off of this too. And then actually, sorry, I had one more swim bait kind of thing. I think you could drop shot it, I guess. Don't exactly know. Last few things, terminal tackle. We have pliers, every fisherman needs. Extra line, 12 pound test, string. And then I have this little pocket knife with pliers just for anything. And then I also have a knife just for anything cutting line, getting loose lures, maybe even cutting fish for catfish bait. But other than that, this is my tackle box. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.